occupational health and safety, control of substances hazardous to health, COSH, control of substances hazardous to health, COSH. COSH regulations 2002 requires employers to prevent or reduce workers' exposure to substances hazardous to health. A substance may be a powder, for example, flour, talc, etc. Dust, for example, wood, brick, coal, etc. Gas, for example, chlorine, ozone, carbon monoxide, etc. Liquid, for example, bleach, hydrocarbon oils, blood, etc. Solid, for example, biological waste, etc. Biological agent, for example, hepatitis B, Legionella, etc. Hazardous substances can enter the body by swallowing, ingestion, breathing, inhalation, contact with the skin, absorption, a skin puncture or cut, injection. A COSH assessment must consider what hazardous substances are used, what are they used for, how are they used, what do they produce, for example hazardous waste products, who uses the substance, what risks are involved, how may an incident occur, how serious could the incident be, is it a major or minor health risk. When hazardous substances are introduced, obtain data sheets from the manufacturers, undertake and record a COSH assessment, make the users aware of the danger, set up a training programme. In some cases, health surveillance may be required to ensure the ongoing health of the workforce. Controlling exposure. Exposure to hazardous substances should be prevented whenever possible or safer substances substituted. Other controls that should be considered are enclose the process, for example, fume cupboard, provide adequate ventilation, local extraction or general ventilation, use safe systems of work to reduce the chance of spillage, leakage, etc. Reduce the number of people who are exposed and or reduce the length of time people are exposed. Provide PPE. When handling hazardous substances, make sure you read the label and follow the manufacturer's instructions. Store them safely with lids securely fastened and away from food. Never mix chemicals or decant them into unmarked containers. Make sure they are clearly labelled. Only use chemicals you have been trained and authorised to use. Wear correct PPE and wash your hands after using chemicals. The COSH regulations apply to all workplaces and it is important that a COSH risk assessment is carried out in all instances. This must be documented when there are more than five employees. Please note Data sheets are not COSH assessments. Hazard pictograms used to label chemicals with their potential hazards. Toxic, very toxic, may cause destruction of living tissue or burns on contact. Corrosive, may cause serious health risk or even death if inhaled, ingested or if it penetrates the skin. Health hazards, including carcinogens, may cause serious long-term health risks, for example to respiratory system, may be carcinogenic or contain highly hazardous substances that target specific organs. Irritant, harmful, may cause less serious health hazards such as skin inflammation or irritation. Flammable, Chemicals that catch fire easily or give off highly flammable gases in contact with water. Gas under pressure. Contains gas under pressure, 
Gas may be cold when released or may explode if heated. Explosive may explode if in contact with flames or heat. May explode due to shock or friction. Oxidising may cause or intensify fire. Harmful to the environment. Toxic to aquatic life may cause damage to or pollute the environment. When using any substance, the most important rule is read the manufacturer's instructions.